Okay, so we just returned home from the BRNA show in Georgia, and we got a pretty big mail call in, and I wanted to show you guys a few things, but for a moment I wanted to show you this uh, 1885-0 Morgan Dollar uh, toned uh, in this holder, uh, this rattler holder, and the unique part about this, which we'll discuss later in the video, is that these are very hard to find, and uh, they can actually uh, sell for many many times what uh, gray sheet or price guide will offer them so so let's get the light box out and we'll talk a little bit more about this coin and a few other coins that we got in uh, just to give you guys some context and some things to understand and learn uh, about getting coins in finding them online and even buying them at shows so stay tuned Hey guys, just got home from the BRNA show and I wanted to show you guys a few things that came in that will blow your socks off. <laughs> so let me show you this first coin. This is an 1885-0 Morgan Silver Dollar. And this coin um, is beautiful. And you're going to understand why it's so expensive here in just a moment. Um, but if I put it up in the light, you have the beautiful uh, blue, gold, red, and green uh, cascading across the coin. I really enjoy the color uh, kind of moving underneath the face and going down. Um, I think it's an exceptional, exceptional coin. And these actually demand a super high premium, actually. Um, I can actually sell this coin due to the market that we're in and the toning um, for, I would say, around $600, $650 um, just because of uh, the holder that it's in and the color progression. And a little bit of a backstory for these coins. Uh, most of the time, um, back when rattlers were in and people were submitting coins to be put into rattlers, uh, most of the coin dealers and coin collectors thought this toning was ugly and it lowered the value of the coin. And so, uh, when when a few collectors actually sent in some rattler, some uh, toned Morgans uh, to be put in a rattler. And now that they're hot and exciting and people like the toning, um, it becomes a very hot commodity um, in this market, like I was telling you, and on great collections and other sites. And so I would say this coin is around a $300 coin without uh, the Rattler case. But with the Rattler case, I would say it's anywhere between six to $700. And so uh, keep an eye out at coin shows for color progressions like this because people are, are on the hunt for them. But... It's a really unique coin, and I do enjoy it. Up next, uh, we're going to be jumping into a little bit more of a higher price coin. This is a 1900 O over CC Morgan dollar. Um, it has the beautiful luster all the way around it. Um, I think it's a 100% blast white coin. Uh, I picked this up from my friend Riley on Instagram. Uh, we worked a little deal on there. And uh, just getting a coin like this... Um, uh, with this variety and O over CC, um, they're pretty hard to come by, and so uh, you can kind of barely see a CC popping out on the left and right side of the O. Um, but right now these are very hot. Like like I was saying, the market's pretty hot, and uh, what what people do enjoy about coins currently is that either they have beautiful toning, or they're 100% blast white. That's kind of where you have to aim when you're working uh, and trying to sell coins. Um, if it's ugly, brown, has a big spot that's unattractive, most of the time someone's not going to want those and it's going to demand less of a premium. But a coin like this, the grade it's in um, and the eye appeal that it has, um, people are looking for these coins and they, they want them in their collection. And so if you find a coin like this, you know, I'm going to put these side by side, but People either want a blast white coin, like I was saying, or a beautifully toned coin. Um, if it dis has distracting, which uh, distracting marks or a distracting toning pattern um, that it's unattractive, um, it's going to demand less of a premium. But I'm about to show you one of those in just a moment. So this is a 19 or 1890cc. It's a really nice grade, but I wanted to show you guys the difference between a beautifully toned coin, which demands a premium and uh, a coin that's not so beautiful like this one. Um, as you can see, it's kind of kind of dark, uh, suppressed a little bit. It has some decent orange toning in the fields, um, 
but like I was saying, um, it's it's not super attractive. It doesn't have the luster that uh, a common collector would like, and um, if it, it does have toning, it's not really, uh, I would say, bumping the value in any way. It's kind of like an iridescent, um, murky-ish toning to it, and so what I would say to this coin is that it's not the most attractive. It's a nice grade, better date, um, but it's going to be hard pressed to sell this one over the others just because of the eye appeal that it presents. So when you buy coins, I would say watch out for things like that because it's very important that you buy uh, a very eye appealing coin, even if even if you're getting a good deal, uh, like someone offers you a coin for a great price, I would say uh, just buy the, the coin that's nicer because it's going to be able to be sold easier and uh, you're going to attract that clientele looking for nice coins. So watch out for coins like this and watch out for the previous coins that I just showed you. They're all different and all demand a different premium. But let me show you guys a few more today. This one's a nice one. It's a monster. Uh, this one's an 1881cc. Uh, we're going back to the blast white effect. I think this coin could have easily been a 7 if it didn't have that mark on the face. But it's a super clean coin um, for what it is. And a coin like this uh, will attract a lot of eyes because the CC market is a little bit tougher right now to get into. Um, they've uh, The prices have almost doubled uh, since last year. And um, high grade like this, a better date CC, and it being 100% blast white is a coin that you're gonna wanna look for. And this is a coin that I'm gonna uh, find a wonderful home for. And I'm just thankful enough to show you guys and be able to hold it. Just such a beautiful original coin. So this next one is something that I'm going to tell you guys about. This is an 1878 uh, reverse of a 78 Morgan dollar. Um, has really a nice appealing luster. And the reason why I'm showing you guys this coin that came in the mail is because I actually have a wholesaler that pays uh, much more for this coin than $150. So I have a wholesaler right now that pays me $185 for this date, it being blast white and having eye appeal. And so, when I saw this coin on Instagram, I said, you know what, I'm going to make 30 bucks on it if I uh, send it to somebody um, yeah, in Pennsylvania. And so, when I found it, I was like, you know what, I got a, I got a quick 30 bucks that I can make, or I could try to uh, show one of my uh, great customers if they would like this coin as well. And so, uh, when I got it in hand, the luster was just beaming on this coin, and it's a true beauty. And... Um, you don't see much of these uh, nowadays. Um, stuff's been trading super high, and that, that ends up being uh, tougher because a lot of people are giving back uh, their coins that they thought were unattractive, kind of like that 90cc. And so stuff like this, blast white and attractive, is it's hard to come by right now. But really, really nice coin. Um, beautiful luster as well. Now, I'm going to show you guys one last coin. Uh, this is uh, a, a bullseye toner. This is an 1883-0 graded uh, Mint State 64 star. Uh, has this really beautiful bullseye appeal on it. And um, stars, like I was saying in the previous videos, have been shooting up like rockets. Um, and Like last year, a coin like this would be like 150 bucks. A coin this year would be like 300 bucks. Um, so it's really been doubling and been really hard to find like, and make money on because people understand uh, that, that toning is demanding more of a premium and that people are looking for coins like this everywhere. And so I got this from a guy on Instagram. He's a really nice guy. Um, he got, actually won this in a giveaway from my friend Harrison a few uh, months back, and he wanted to sell it. And so I asked him about it and we came to an agreement and this coin uh, I really enjoy and I think it's very beautiful and so uh, thank you guys for taking a look at all of these coins today and I do appreciate uh, you guys liking the videos uh, leaving all your comments and just sitting around and uh, watching these beautiful coins be displayed um, during my videos um, so I really do I appreciate everything that you guys do. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Uh, we work pretty hard on finding coins, showing coins, and keeping up with the channel. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, subscribe if you're new and you want to see more content like this. Uh, and just comment what your favorite coin of the video was. Uh, a lot of a mixed group, but um, some very interesting coins, uh, you have to admit. So. Have a great week, and I will see you guys in the next video.